What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning back in to another episode of Middleton Motorsports uh, turbo engine build here. So I got the parts back from the machine shop and uh, we're going to go through a bunch of this stuff um, through the whole assembly. But we're going to start off by doing the ring end gap. So I'm going to show you that process now and uh, just keep watching and I'll give you a full tutorial here. Get the block, it's all machined. I painted it yesterday. So that's all dry and ready to go. So we're going to start measuring the ring gaps. Got the new pistons here. And made in Japan piston rings. So I'm going to show you how to set this all up and uh, measure ring end gap and file the rings. All right, so I'm going to start by attaching the file to the bench here so it doesn't move when we're trying to file the rings. Use a C clamp. All right, so that's all mounted. I'm gonna grab one of the pistons. This is one of the old piston rings from the old pistons. I'm gonna put this on the top spot here. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that in a minute here. But let's get the first box here. I'm gonna be filing them first cylinder hole, so we're going to start with uh, cylinder one here. Alright, so I'm just going through the guide here to make sure I got the top and second rings on the right setup here. Second ring goes like that. And it's the top ring goes like that. All right, so move this over here. Let's start at cylinder one. Let's see if we can get a close shot in there. So I got some oil in a squirt can here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on here. So we got a nice coat of oil on the cylinder wall before we start putting the rings in there. Let's start with the top ring. I always put it with a gap at the top. Kind of squeeze it in, goes like that, then rotate it. Bring it up to the top and to make sure it's all squared. That's why I put this piston ring on there so it's gonna push the ring perfectly even all the way around after it sets, rests on this ring here. So not that's like that. This ring is perfectly even all the way around now. This ring I'm gonna be putting at 22 thousandths. So I got my 22 thousandths right here. So if this doesn't go in, I gotta file it. Yeah, so I gotta do quite a bit of filing here. Not even close. There's two pegs here that the piston ring sits on, so you just gotta make sure that it's rested nicely on those. It keeps it nice and straight when you're filing it. back in and see how much we filed. All right, so I still need to keep filing this, but I'm just gonna put this aside and see you got the idea of what I'm doing. So you can kind of watch me uh, file these rings. It's 
better to do it multiple times and not overcut it. You don't want your ring gaps too big. Touch more and this one's done. See the final gap, we got 22 thousandths feeler gauge here. Fits nicely in there. So we're right where we want it now, 22 thousandths for that first ring. All right, so we're gonna repeat, repeat the process with the second ring. This one needs to be 25 to 26 thousandths. So I'm gonna first measure it. Put a little bit of oil on it first. All right, so that sums up for all the ring filing. It's definitely a tedious job, but make sure to take your time and uh, make sure everything's just right. I mean, mine were all probably within like half a thousandth when I was checking them, so everything is like almost spot on. So make sure you take your time if you end up doing this and uh, just take your time and be patient. But that sums up for the ring filing. Uh, next video is probably gonna be uh, putting the crankshaft and main bearings in and uh, main studs. So stay tuned for another video.